Hello everyone, I'm Mary at the Quilters Market and I am going to show you how to do the tulip quilt and I'm demonstrating for the first demonstration the flower part of the tulip. So we're going to be taking these pieces. This is a four and a half inch by seven and a half inch piece for the flower. This is a five inch square for the background. And this is a five and a half inch square for the uh, center of the tulip. And there's the background on the other side. Okay, so we have two pieces of four and a half by seven and a half, and we're going to cut this with the uh, quick curve mini ruler. We're going to take our ruler, and it's got a V right here in the middle. It's a dashed line. It's a V, and we're going to place that right at the corner of our rectangle. So there's our V right there, placed right at the corner. And you're going to cut this with a 45 millimeter cutter. The bigger one won't go around the curve and the smaller one is too small to get through the acrylic. So it's important to have the 45 millimeter. And then you just take it and run around the curve and cut your A piece. And there we are. And we turn this around. Again, we put it at the corner like so. And you cut it through and you've got four pieces ready for your tulip and this part you can discard then you take your five and a half inch squares put them together right sides together and you draw a diagonal line across that square and you're going to be sewing a quarter inch on each side And then for your background piece, this is your five inch square. And I have two of them here, I've stacked them. And again, we're going to cut the same way with our dashed line right here at the corner. We're gonna get a, our B piece out of this. So we go right around the curve, just like we did before. And we've got our B piece, and that's gonna fit around the A right there, okay? I'm going to take you over to the sewing machine and we're going to sew a few pieces together and we're going to show, sew some curves. Don't be afraid, it's not that hard. Okay. So I'm going to take my B piece, always goes on the bottom. And I like to lay it out on the machine just as it's going to be when it's finished so I know that that curve goes with that curve. It's about a half an inch below where the B piece starts and just get it started on your machine. Just where it catches, okay. And then you take your A piece in your left hand and you guide your B piece with your right hand and you slowly sew around the curve, keeping your quarter inch seam. Don't stretch any of them. And if this starts to bunch up a little bit, just let up your foot just a little bit to release that fabric and let it down again. Again, just gently guide it as it goes along. We're almost there. There we are. show you right there we've got a nice curve we're going to take that over to the ironing board and you always iron towards the A piece and I've got two pieces here that I've already sewn and so you're going to iron it towards the A piece you're going to iron the seam towards the A piece that's important because we're going to cut these down when you look at this you think well that isn't very square well this is so kind of wonderful people made this kind of foolproof so that once we get to this point we're going to cut it down into perfect four inch squares. So I'm going to take this back to my cutting table and on your ruler you've got some lines here. You've got a quarter inch on two sides and you've got a, an eighth of an inch and you're going to put the eighth of an inch right where the A fabric and the B fabric come together and you're going to put the, quarter, the eighth of an inch right there where the A fabric and the B fabric come together. Okay, right there, and we're going to cut, cut out these two sides. And 
and then we're going to flip it 180 degrees. So this corner goes up here in this corner. We're at 180 and we're just going to square it off to four inches. Okay, there it is. Now with the, uh, the center of the tulip, we're going to take our five and a half inch squares. We're going to finish sewing. I started this earlier, so we're going to finish sewing that other quarter inch down the side. Take it over here to the cutting table and we're going to cut down the line that we drew earlier right down the center and we will end up with two half square triangles and we are going to iron these with the seam open the so kind of wonderful patterns often do that because they want to decrease the bulk at the intersections and so there are many times when you're straight seams are going to be ironed open. We'll do that with both sides. Get my finger in there. This one doesn't want to behave. There it goes. All right, now the important part of this is to remember that you want these two things in the center. And so we're gonna cut a B side off of each of these. First, we're gonna square it down to five inches. And this ruler also has a diagonal line that's a dotted line. So we're gonna put that right across where the two fabrics meet, and we're gonna cut your square down to five inches. And the dotted line is right there, and we're going to cut down to five inches. There we are. By the way, Tanya's going to be um, having a sale on these kits for the month of April, and all you have to say is, I want to make a tulip quilt, and you will get that at 15% off through the month of April. So that's that's a wonderful deal. These are so fun for spring. They'll just be a great table runner or wall hanging to kind of have you enjoy your spring. Okay, that comes down to five inches. And then we're going to take and we're going to cut it like we did our B piece. We're going to put the diagonal line, or I'm sorry, the dotted line right here. And we can see, whoops, that it's straight because this center line there goes right through. And we're going to cut a B piece just like that. This you can discard. And then you want to make sure that the other piece is reversed. And I'll show you why in just a minute. Here we go. And see, now it makes sense. Those have to be in the center. So we go ahead and sew the curve just like we did the earlier curve. And I'm going to put this together to show you how it all looks put together. So we have our tulips in our center. And then we have a center piece, which is a one inch by four inch that goes down the center. We have our tulip bottoms. And a one inch that goes, uh, one by four inch that goes down the center like that. And then we will round out that top of this block with a four inch 
by seven and a half inch on each side. If you're making the table runner, you would make three tulips like that. If you're making the quilt, you would make six. And then Tanya will be doing session two, and that will be the leaves. Thank you.